morning. Today is day 20. And we just got out, dropped back off at Winding Star Gap where we had left off like, I guess a week ago. And it's like 10.30. We're just gonna go like 11 miles to um, Wyeth Shelter. So yeah, I had a good day yesterday. Went out to eat, resupplied, slept in a bed, charged my electronics, did laundry. Um, so that was all good. We did all that in Franklin at the hotel that we had stayed at in Franklin. The same one we had done the week before. And then, should be the NRC in a couple days to resupply, but it just started raining. And I literally just took my rain jacket off. Oh, that's not good. Anyway, I was able to upload a bunch of videos at the hotel. So those are all set to go live. And I was able to check the comments. And I love reading people's comments. Makes me very happy that like, people like my videos. Because I'm not here, I just feel stupid feeling myself. It's crazy people actually watch them. And also, Magic Mama commented on one of my videos. And I love Magic Mama. Um, she's like, it's crazy to just see someone comment that I like met out here. So, I was very excited to see that. <laughs> Alright, I've gone like two miles. Still climbing. But... Anyway, I was at the grocery store last night because you can just like walk to the Ingles from where we were staying. And I was like, oh my gosh, I only need like two days of food. My bag's gonna be like so light. But then everything comes in like big boxes. Like you can't just buy like granola bar. You have to buy like six. And then I want to eat six of the same granola bar as my snack. So I end up getting so much food. I only have two dinners. But like my snacks, I have a lot of. That's okay. I just won't have to get as much at the NOC. It's just funny how it's like, yeah, it's gonna be so light. It's not light. <laughs> Alright, I think I've hiked about six miles. So I have about like five to the shelter for tonight. And it's only like 115 ish. So. I haven't even had to stop and get water. I think I carried too much water up here. But it's okay because then I'll have to stop, I guess. So that's convenient. Yeah, tonight it's supposed to get pretty cold, I think. When I checked the AT weather for the shelter we're staying at tonight, the low is like 27 and winds up to 33 miles per hour. So maybe I'll try to sleep in the shelter just so I don't have to like be in my tent in high winds. But also maybe I'll just try to find a place to set up my tent where... It's like blocked from the wind. I don't know. Because I think my tent is warmer. Like, because it's like just, I don't know, it keeps your warmth in there with you. And I just like my tent. It's like more privacy and easier to change into your sleeping clothes and stuff. Oh. Yeah, I've already been sleeping with my filter and my electronics and stuff. Even when it's not supposed to be that cold, just as like a habit. And also, I don't know, I always worry that like, the weather is gonna be wrong and it's gonna get a lot colder. So I sleep with it anyway. But I haven't seen any of my friends yet. Two of them rode the shuttle with me and they're just right behind me, I think. And then um, Niall took a different shuttle because he still wanted to dry his clothes out. Because the dryers at the hotel are like the coin laundry thing and they like don't dry your clothes. So he was doing another round of it because I we dried our stuff, washed and dried last night. And and like it wasn't all, it was all still wet so I just laid stuff out and some of it dried and some of it didn't. But I hit it with a hair dryer and I also put some of it on to like warm it up and dry it out. So I'm good but he wanted to stay and do that and so but they hike faster than me anyway so when I get a head start we usually all arrive at camp about the same time anyway. So that's good. And we're um, kind of making plans for next couple days. Uh, we're not hiking as big of miles as we had originally planned just because I think after the Smokies we're all kind of a little tired and I think today we had planned like a 15 mile day but then we all wanted to stay at the hotel a little longer and we slept in and just like hung out there and then went to Ingles again to return some stuff we bought and get stuff we actually wanted. So today's 11 miles and tomorrow we're doing like 15 or 16 and then the next day we'll be at the NOC to resupply. We're not really staying there and then... I don't even know how much I need to resupply, but I'll probably get like snacks and stuff to eat while I'm there. 
And then I think two more days we'll be back in Fontana. We can take our shuttle back around to Pigeon River Bridge and then continue on from there. I have a pack, a resupply box in Fontana. So I'm hoping our shuttle driver can stop there for me to pick that up because I had sent that, well I had my mom send that for me because I thought I wouldn't be able to get a good resupply there before the Smokies. But then we ended up like doing the whole weird switcheroo thing. So I never was able to get it. So I'm gonna get that and then just eat it for like the next week's supply until hot springs. So that is kind of what's happening at the moment. Look at this cute little bridge. I'm up to Wyatt Bald, and there's like a fire tower thing on top, so I'm hoping that's open you can climb it, because it's decently clear today. Not like crazy, but it's like semi-clear. I made it up to Wyatt Bald, and look, there's trash cans, and I have bathrooms in a parking lot up there. Uh, they don't, they look pit toilets. Look at this. I think there's an airport over here, cause look, looks like there's like a, well you probably can't see it on the camera, looks like there's like a runway. It's crazy. <laughs> now I'm just sitting here on Wild Bald, eating a blueberry pop tart, waiting for my friends to get up here. And it's not super breezy right now, I'm like, I think I'm on the side where the wind doesn't hit quite as hard maybe. I don't know. But I might go up to the tower here in a minute and look out. It's not a fire tower, it's just like a wooden... Or maybe it was a fire tower at one point. It's like, it's like a wood roof of shingles and like a little like brick tower. It's not very tall. It's cool though. Wait, why? Oh yeah, true. Oh, well, tonight maybe when I get there, or maybe now after this potatoes, I'll eat my graham crackers and frosting. Because yeah. <laughs> when you have a bunch of like sugar and fat before you go to bed, it keeps you all warm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Dude, these pot these potatoes are gonna be so good because I'm adding these cream cheese and butter things to the hotel. Mm -hmm. It's like deluxe potatoes. Morning. It is day 21. Um, I slept pretty good last night. It was like the first cold night, I think. Well, like we had cold nights, but this is like the coldest. It was like, I think it's supposed to be a low of 27 and gusts up to 33 miles per hour of wind. But it actually was up warmer last night than I have 
other night, so I think it helped that I was in my tent, because <laughs> my tent keeps me warmer than like being in a shelter. And the weather today is supposed to be great, so that's exciting. And today is a big day because I'm going to be crossing 200 miles. It's not 200 miles on the AT, but it's like I've hiked 200 miles. Because <laughs> the official 200 mile marker we passed when we were in the Smokies. But now we skip back to this section. So I think I have like 5 miles to, the 200, to my 200 miles today. So I think I'm at mile like 195-ish right now, and only, um, well today is the end of my third week out here, which is cool, and in one week from today my parents are visiting, so I'm pretty excited about that. And yeah, the weather today is supposed to be great. Tomorrow I think it's supposed to be rainy and maybe rainy tonight, but today's going to be good. And tomorrow morning, we only have like a mile-ish until we get to the NOC where we can buy like snacks and do a little resupply and just chill for a bit. So that'll be good to get out of the rain, I guess, in there for a bit. And today we're doing like 15 miles, or I think it's like a little over 15, almost 16 maybe, to the Rufus Morgan shelter. I'm not, we're gonna camp, I'm not gonna camp in the shelter, but like camp around it probably. There's a lot of people out here. I was, like, we weren't sure how many, how crowded it was going to be now that we, like, skipped back. Because we're, like, more in the bubble now. But then we'll skip back to where we had originally were. And I don't think it would be quite so crowded. But, yeah, there was probably, like, 20 tents last night. I don't know. There was a lot of tents at that shelter. Maybe that's probably an exaggeration. Maybe, like, 12 tents. And then the shelter was really small, though. So there was probably, only like, four or five people in that. Yeah, it was a good night. I see. It's been like an hour of hiking and I've gone like 2.2 miles. I'm just sitting here taking a break. There's a nice view. Hold on. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah. I might sit here and have a snack and get some water and stretch and then keep going for another couple of miles. To take another break but I wanted to show you my like snack selection for the day let me get those out and I'll show you all right so I have this pocket on the hip belt of my backpack down here and that way I can access all my snacks while I'm hiking and I don't have to stop like I did now but I'm stopping right now just for a break but anyway I usually get these snacks out like in the morning when I'm eating breakfast so I pick out my snacks for the day so I have a blueberry muffin Lara bar a peanut butter banana cliff bar um, cream cheese and chives cheese crackers, a vanilla honey stinger waffle, and some gushers. But I usually stop and have lunch if it's not raining or if I just feel like it and I'll have like a peanut butter tortilla and like some raisins and stuff. So sometimes at that point I'll take some of these snacks and put them in the bear can and switch them out with something else. But yeah, this is what I pulled out for the day. I've gone like over six miles today and I realize I only need to go five miles to get to the 200 mile marker. So that means I passed my 200 mile marker somewhere back there. I don't know, I mean, obviously it wasn't going to be marked, but it's still cool. 200 miles and this time a lot faster than before. And we took a zero in the middle of that, so yeah. I'm just coming down from Wesser Bald, and there's a cool like wooden observation tower that I got in the video. There's a lot of day hikers up here because there's like a trailhead not too far away. So 
pretty crowded. I sat up there and had like a snack or kind of like lunch, I guess. And then I'm heading down. I think there's only like a little less than six miles to the shelter we're staying at tonight. Sounds like it's going to be a pretty crowded shelter, but it's okay because I want to camp anyway. I'm hoping there's a nice level spot. It's supposed to rain tonight and it's just nice if like your tent is set up nice and even when it's raining. Yeah, also it's a lot of downhill. I don't think there's much more climbing. It's almost all going down because we're heading into the NIC and it's like a real steep incline down there and then a nice steep incline up tomorrow. So look at the view. I don't know if you can see it behind me. And over there, apparently the lake there is like Fontana Lake and then the mountains up there are all the Smokies, which is crazy. We did that just last week. What? Cool, the trail is here. It goes down there, but look at the view. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm like a mile from where I'm gonna camp tonight. And it's just been a lot of downhill the past like five or six miles. So it was like really steep too. And then there were so many trees blown down. It was like it was really slow moving for a little bit, like it was like every 20 feet you were like climbing through these like blowdowns and my backpack was getting stuck and I was like struggling but there was really nice views up there so I guess that made up for it. I know I was taking me so long to get through that. I thought it'd be night hiking but I'm fine. I'm gonna get to camp probably about 545. So I'll have time to like set up and get water before the sun goes down. That'll be good and then I'm gonna cook. And tonight for dinner I have like garlic parmesan and nor rice side so it's gonna be a good day.